we are going to be reacting to dumb people doing dumb things that are probably illegal on the internet. Let's jump right into it. What's that one movie, Dirk slash Matthew, like? Snakes. Why does it have to be snakes? You know, at first I thought this guy was gonna be a good Samaritan. You know, he's saving his, uh, his camp from the invading snake. You know, then he had to go take it one step further and he had to throw the snake on, uh, on the other people. Now, is this illegal? Well, maybe. It is certainly the tour de battery because he's intentionally causing harmful or offensive contact by throwing the snake, the snake making contact with these people, and uh, you know, snakes are harmful. Snake. Hello. 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 Yes. Who am I speaking to? This, this is, is the owner of the house. Can you see me? I can see you. Oh, perfect. Is your brother-in-law supposed to be here? Yes, he is. Okay, Did my cool. neighbors call? I forgot to yeah. tell them. No, um, no, there, there's a, some sort of mix-up. I'm sure he'll tell you the full story, but no one's in any trouble, and we'll, we'll let him go, come on in. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Hey, Matt? Yeah. What happened? Hey, sorry. That's um, right. I feel bad. I jumped your neighbor's fence thinking it was your house. The so, yeah, he called the cops on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where this is going. So in the law, there's this concept called mistake of fact. So this guy did not intend to trespass. He thought he was jumping in his brother-in-law's lawn, and presumably he had permission to be there, but he mistakenly jumped in the neighbor's lawn. So is that still trespassing? And the answer is... Yes, mistake of fact doesn't necessarily negate the criminal activity. The fact of the matter is he was still trespassing. So he's likely still trespassing even though he thought he was on a different property. Now, to be fair, mistake of fact might mitigate the circumstances. Like here, the police came to verify that his alibi was correct and that he was supposed to be at his brother-in-law's house. And then once that was corroborated, the police are going to let him go. And actually, there are other crimes where you do need to intend to be actually committing the crime for it to be the crime. So sometimes a mistake of fact is a valid excuse. But here, trespassing is like physically being on the property and he is on the property. So it doesn't necessarily matter that he thought it was a property he had permission to be on. He gets a bay, he gets a love tap knowledge hammer just because, I mean, look, he's asking for it. Boop. One more time. Boop. Baby knowledge hammer. Okay, I'm calling cap on this. Misdemeanor, maybe. But a cop isn't gonna let you go over rock, paper, scissors for a felony. Son, we caught you. We found three dead bodies in that closet back there. I'll play you in rock, paper, scissors for it. You're being arrested for triple homicide. Yeah, no, rock, paper, scissors, best out of three. If I beat you, you have to look the other way. Fair? Deal. And also, by the way, there's no way this game of rock, paper, scissors is legally binding, meaning the, the cops can totally lose the game of rock, paper, scissors and then still pursue whatever sort of arrest and or ticketing that they were going after. But I am glad that they kept to their word and are letting these people go. First of all, what a total jerk. How did this guy think he's not gonna get caught? There's literally only four people that it could be. Next, trespassing, absolutely. Nuisance, absolutely. This guy is literally throwing shirt on the other property owner's property. That is something that is definitely actionable if it doesn't stop. I love how he looks the other way. Did you see that? 
He's kind of got the no look pass going. Like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it. You can throw it. Nobody's gonna notice. There's so many dumb people. Dumb people. Oh! This mail truck is going about 30 miles per hour straight into this house. Uh. Ah! Okay, that's actually better than I thought. Thank God for those trees that absorb the blow. The worst part about this for the homeowner is that it's USPS. That's the United States Postal Service. That's a government entity. They're probably capped. Now, usually it's a $250,000 cap. It's gonna depend on the state, but I think $250,000 is right about there. The good news is I don't know if this is $250,000 worth of damage, but if it was over $250,000 worth of damage, that's probably the most you can recover from uh, from these guys because it's the government. Walking to my car to go for a nice drive in Austin. Finding the whole front of my car stolen from inside my apartment's gated parking garage. So it could potentially be a case against the apartment complex. It's going to depend on how often this has happened. Were they put on notice that there's an issue with people breaking in past the security and stealing? And if the answer is yes, you can potentially pursue a claim against them for them to repair the damage to your car because they should have been on notice that this was an issue and they have a duty to keep their tenants safe and their property safe. What? No. No, my greatest fear is happening. Bro. No. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do we get? Dude, hit a button. I am. Dude. Yo, they make this look so much easier. Ah, my hand. My hand's stuck. Help. Help. Please. Okay. Um, is this a case? Maybe, as many of y'all know, torts are driven by damages. What damages have these guys suffered? As of right now, not a whole lot, but let's just say hypothetically they get trapped in there for days and days and days and they don't have food, water, drinks, access to use the restroom. Well, then your damages increase significantly. And what exactly is the case? Well, it could be negligence. You know, somebody is trapped in the elevator. Presumably they need a way to contact you to get them out. Also, you know, maybe regular inspections. Why did the elevator break? And also, if it does break, do you have a appropriate amount of response time to get the people out of the elevator who are in there? So as of right now, they probably don't have enough damages to it for it to be a case. But you know, I don't I don't know how long they're they're trapped in there for, right? Oh, oh my god, this is not happening. Oh my god. Oh holy f all right, they got out. Probably no case just on those particular facts. It doesn't appear that they were in there for a long time. That's it for today's video. 